Well, Sam, you're part of providing the music. The music, yeah. <laughs> and what has it been like to to rehearse and to put together this extraordinarily massive undertaking? Yeah, so it's it's very different than so, sort of normal orchestra playing in many ways because when you're playing in an orchestra, you only need to listen to the other orchestra members, and it's one thing to listen to the rest of your section mm. and the rest of um, your family of instruments that you're playing in, and then, you know, to try to, for me, I'm a trumpet player, to hear what's going on, say, in the violins. But then when you have singers on top of that, and you need <laughs> to sort of balance your sound, you need to hear sort of what they're saying, what their tempi are, what their rhythmic inflections are, and then you want to start following them, it becomes sort of a whole different project in a way. Um, and, you know, I think one of the things about playing um, musical theater, and I did it in high school, and it was one of the, my favorite experiences there, um, is that there really is sort of this nexus of, on the one hand, the music, but then also sort of the lyrics and the poetry, right? Mm. It's, it's not just sort of a purely musical, um, uh, you know, sort of uh, experience that doesn't have, say, the, you know, words that we love using at liberal arts colleges and all that stuff, but it has the words sort of set to music, and like that sort of combination for me, you know, that's why I love listening to musicals mm. and have listened to them my entire life. Um, what's interesting in this particular show um, is that just like the cast, which um, is double cast, we are double casting much of the orchestra because it is a great time commitment um, for a lot of students. Um, but you know, one of the other things we have is some of the most outstanding players um, on campus as part of this um, orchestra. And the other thing is that we also have great um, uh, resources in the five colleges that when there are these parts that um, because we are a small campus, we can't fill, um, we have wonderful resources from UMass and other campuses. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's an Amherst College event and then also we're branching out a little bit too. In the cast as well, we have some really incredible cast members who are parts of the five colleges and also just general community members who took an interest in the project and wanted to be part of it. So while this is definitely an Amherst College pro project, it's not in that way limited to just us. Um, and it's been a really great pleasure to meet all these new people um, from the community as well. How did you get people in the community involved? How did they hear about it? How did they, <laughs> how did they know? Honestly, in a way, we didn't even need to try. <laughs> we just said... They came to you. Yeah, we, we didn't even really... Uh, I don't think we really advertise the auditions in any grandiose kind of way. We just put up a couple of flies around the campus surreptitiously in the cover of darkness. And then um, we were getting responses from people at the other five colleges. I'm like, how did you even see that? <laughs> um, and the first person actually to, to sign up for an audition is, was a community member who just happened to be on Facebook at the time when we started posting about the event. And she's like, oh, can I audition for this? And it was, and it was fortuitous that way. And she's in our cast now. You'll. If you, if you come to the show, which I hope everyone will, um, the, the, you'll hear her sing the part of the baker's wife. Um, and it's, hmm. it's really remarkable that we were able to get all these people, not just from Amherst, even though the bulk of them come from Amherst and are really the students who are here and are part of um, musical life here, um, but also from the general community.